Hey guys, this is Aman from Edureka and welcome to today's session on CloudWatch versus CloudTrail. It is very easy to get confused between these two AWS services as both of them are AWS monitoring and observatory tools. Also, both the services have logging capabilities. So today's session is all about knowing the difference between them. But before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. Today's video is going to be very simple. We'll first talk about what is CloudWatch and CloudTrail then we'll understand some of the major difference between them and the working. Now moving on to a first topic, what is Amazon CloudWatch? Amazon CloudWatch provides real-time monitoring of AWS resources and customer applications running on the Amazon infrastructure. CloudWatch collects monitoring and operational data in the form of logs, metrics, and events, which provides you with unified view of AWS resources, applications, and services that run on AWS Cloud or your on-premises servers. Now, as I've mentioned, CloudWatch stores the data in the form of logs, metrics, and events. So let us talk about them as they will help us understand CloudWatch better. First, we have metrics. Now, you can think of metrics as a variable to monitor. This variable could be, for example, the CPU usage of a particular EC2 instances, and the data points represent the value of the variable over time. Next, we have logs. Logs are nothing but every time-specific activity that has occurred using your AWS resources. This can be helpful in performing queries so that you can effectively and efficiently respond to the operational issues. Next, we have events. Now, an event indicates a change in your AWS environment. Like, AWS resources can generate events when the state changes. For example, Amazon EC2 generates an event when the state of an EC2 instance changes from pending to running. Another example would be Amazon EC2 auto scaling generating events when it launches or terminate instances. Now, after events, we have alarms. Now, this is used to automatically initiate actions on your behalf. You will have to set a trigger or you could say a condition upon which it would perform its action. It watches a single metrics over a time period and performs one or more specified action. Now, these were some of the important CloudWatch concepts. Now, let us move on and see the types of monitoring available in CloudWatch. First, we have the basic monitoring. It is free and it collects data at a five minute time interval. By default, when you provision your AWS resources, all the AWS resources except elastic load balancing and relational database services start with the basic monitoring mode only. Now, elastic load balancing and relational database services monitor the resources at one minute interval. For other resources, optionally, you can switch the monitoring mode to detail monitoring. Now, detail monitoring is chargeable and it makes data available at a one minute time interval. For this, AWS charges start from the lowest tier at $0.14 per second. Now, detail monitoring, as I mentioned before, does not change for elastic load balancing and relational database services, as it is a default and it collects data at a one minute interval. Similarly, detail monitoring does not change the elastic block storage volumes, which are monitored at a five minute intervals. Now, this was about CloudWatch. You can also refer to our Amazon CloudWatch tutorial video if you want to learn more about CloudWatch and how to use it. I will leave a link of that video in the description box below. Now let us move on to the next topic and see what is Amazon CloudTrail. AWS CloudTrail is a service that enables governance, compliance, operating auditing, and risk auditing of your AWS account. It records the action taken by the user, role, or the AWS services as events. Events could include actions taken in the AWS Management Console, AWS Command Line Interface, and AWS SDK and APIs. When an activity occurs in your AWS account, this activity is recorded in a CloudTrail event. You can easily view this event in the CloudTrail console by going to Event History in the AWS Management Console. Event History allows you to view, search, and download the past 90 days of activities in your AWS account. In addition, you can also create a CloudTrail trail to archive, analyze, and respond to changes in your AWS resources. Now, a trail is nothing but a configuration that enables delivery of event to an Amazon S3 bucket that you specify, which means the event lists are stored safely in Amazon S3 so the user can retrieve it whenever he wants to. Now, you can create a trail with the Amazon CloudTrail console, the AWS CLI, or the CloudTrail API. You can create two types of trails for an AWS account. The first one is a trail that applies to all region. When you create a trail that applies to all region, CloudTrail records event in each region and delivers the CloudTrail event log files to an S3 bucket that you specify. If a region is added after you create a trail that applies to all region, the new region is automatically included and the event in the region are logged. It is the best practice to create a trail in all regions. 
The next type is a trail that applies to only one region. When you create a trail that applies to one region, CloudTrail records the event in that region only. It then delivers the CloudTrail event log files into an Amazon S3 bucket that is specified. We can only create a single region trail by using the AWS command line interface. If you create an additional single trail, you can have those trail deliver CloudTrail event log files to the same Amazon S3 bucket or to a separate bucket. This was about CloudTrail. Now let us move on to a main topic for today and see what are the difference between CloudWatch and CloudTrail. So to understand this, let us start by knowing some of the major difference between them. Now CloudWatch is a service which focuses on the health and performance of AWS resources, application and services that run on AWS or on on-premises servers. On the other hand, CloudTrail focuses on actions performed inside the AWS environment. Next, CloudWatch mainly focuses on AWS resources or services, whereas CloudTrail mainly focuses on user activities inside the account. Next, CloudWatch can be used in collecting and tracking metrics, log files, and in setting alarms for any resources. On the other hand, CloudTrail mainly focuses on who, what, when, and where, which means it focuses on what action was taken, who performed the action, when the action was taken, and where the action was taken. For example, if someone terminated your EC2 instances, you can know who terminated your EC2 instances using CloudTrail. The next major difference is CloudWatch delivers the event to the CloudWatch dashboard within five minutes using basic monitoring or one minute using detail monitoring. On the other hand, CloudTrail delivers an event within 15 minutes of the API call. Now let us discuss about the working of CloudWatch and CloudTrail to understand the difference better. Now a CloudWatch will have complete visibility of your AWS resources and the application. So CloudWatch automatically collects all your metrics and logs from your AWS resources, application and services from your AWS platform and on the on-premises servers. It records metrics from services like Elastic Compute Cloud Instances, Elastic Block Storage, Simple Storage Services, or Elastic Load Balancing. Next, with the help of this metrics, it will help you visualize this application on your CloudWatch dashboard. Moreover, if there are some operational changes required in your AWS environment, CloudWatch becomes aware of each changes and responds to them by taking some sort of corrective action. Now, this is done by CloudWatch events, as I've mentioned before. Finally, it will provide you with real-time analysis using CloudWatch metrics math. This was the working of Amazon CloudWatch. Now, let us move on to the working of Amazon CloudTrail. Basically, CloudTrail captures or records user activities in the AWS services and calls it CloudTrail events. Now, it delivers this CloudTrail event to CloudTrail console and stores it in the S3 buckets. Now, after the events are delivered to your CloudTrail console, you can now review all the recent activities that have happened in your account. And you can also use CloudWatch events and alarms to set important automatic actions. This was the working of Amazon CloudTrail. Now, I guess you have some idea about what is the difference between CloudWatch and CloudTrail. To conclude the session, I would like to say that both CloudWatch and CloudTrail perform different functionalities, but it can be used hand in hand for monitoring your AWS resources and your AWS account. And with this, we have come to the end of our video. I hope this video would be helpful to you. Happy learning.